I'm just curious what those 15 exclusive they're supposedly announcing. Don't recognize the name? That's like almost every song for me. <laughs> I can't remember any songs. You know, actually, they might show more of Ori and the Blind Forest 2. I totally forgot. I remember they announced that last year. Because... I don't know if I can consider that... Indie? Because it's not? Because it's backed by Microsoft? It's not really indie. I don't know what this is supposed to be showing. I don't know, this is just some intro that's not showing anything at all. Halo confirmed. Halo ranks. Dude, I'd be into a hunting game. It is Halo. I was joking when I said that. Dude, what is this? Looks like Halo 1. Oh my god, is this an MMO? Halo Infinite? What is that? Like, what kind of game is that? It looks like a multiplayer game. Please welcome the head of Xbox. That doesn't look like Bill Spencer. What? Okay, that looks like a multiplayer game. <laughs> what the hell? With Halo Infinite. We will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what creativity unleashed it looks seems like, like a good for guy. you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater, welcome to E3 2018. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. I just want to know more about Halo Infinite. 100% no. of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Thanks to you. I know. Kids well, I mean, Microsoft does own with Mixer. Their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of competition and our deepest like, hey, conversations. Hey, Mixer, what's up, guys? Thank you for games. using our platform. Like, Most screw you, of Twitch. All, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. That this is, is why I've always believed, team or something like. And will always believe that gaming is I thought it was. It's just like the uniforms. Unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Legendary characters who captivate us. Not just for 10 hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Bold stories 
that inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air. I'm and hearing a lot of buzzwords. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together and a lot of battle royales form we love. So for months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single developers, creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, I just thought about it. Curated a bold what? showcase. Halo Infinite to Battle Royale. And ours. 50 games. 18 titles with exclusivity. And 15 world premieres. Uh, I mean, at least the first crowd's more lively. Stage, and others will be first timers on any stage. All are imagined by the industry's greatest talent all demonstrate what true artisans can create. Mind-blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. Oh, the games. Exclusive. Cyberpunk. Oh. <sighs> I can hope. Yeah, they're crowd. Oh, I knew it was going to be We're in the Blind Forest too. Hear that last year. It's actually a decent game. It was a gorgeous game. Coming now. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's worth playing. Ours are cool, though. I'm actually excited for this. I really like the first one. Uh, Metroidvania. Good start. 2019, not bad. Well, that could be any time. Should yeah, you should go play it. World premiere. Cyberpunk. I'm just gonna keep saying it. No, it's Tomb Raider. It's Tomb Raider. No, wait. I'm getting Eo? So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate. Oh, so this is a Neo. Yet. From software. Guys who made some time has passed since I found you. Your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The limb you have lost. Definitely Dark Souls, the way he opened that door. More useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. It's weird they're making the samurai game because Neo came out and yeah. Uh, 
That's definitely gonna happen to me if I play that. You died. Put that. Just put that message. Your death won't come easily. I honestly got confused. I thought it was Neo. He looks so close to it. No. Bethesda Game Studios. Talk it's power. weird that I don't know. Just because we got Neo, I'm just like I'm not super jazzed about it. There's a lot of samurai games coming out. Go the face stealer. Sure. How's everybody doing? Oh, it's great to see that everybody again. That is weird. Again. You know, I would have thought the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this across the street. And uh, Phil said to me, I'm having Where's a few friends showing over. Bethesda? Why don't you uh, stop by? And look, I know Phil is really, really charming, um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. <laughs> and the good news is, you're our friends too. We've had an incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. Speaking of that game, I just bought it. Now backwards Maybe compatible. I'll play it. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. Wait, what? And hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Please don't show the chain trailer. Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. And what do they? What do you say Set about Fallout 4? Is this just Virginia, some game of the year edition or something? You were one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. Some old looking power power armor right there. Three hundred years after our great nation began, we gathered together. I'll be on to Game Pass. Okay, nice for people who have that. Seventy six. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Looks very Fallout 4 graphics wise. But it definitely has to be that engine. I'm getting so many different of opinions about this. There are reports that are like, oh, it's gonna be like Rust or like the survival games online. But then this looks like a single player RPG. Dude, the DLC costs so much nowadays. The season pass is $50. 
They bumped it up by like thirty dollars. Twenty or thirty dollars. When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds. Is this going to have any decent America RPG elements, itself. or is it just going to be stripped down like Fallout 4 again? Because I really hated that. In Vault 76, our future begins. That doesn't tell me anything. Is it a single player game or is it a multiplayer game? World premiere. Spirit of my silence, I can hear I feel like it's just a single player game. I'm afraid to be near you. And I don't that was just another trailer. To begin. And I don't know where you have to where you can play. That's pretty much me. I'm like, okay, this game is alright, and then after I'm like, yeah, okay. This is Chris of the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. I actually never played the Life of Strange games. Are they good? You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture from my son. I always get picked last for the team at school, and they never throw the ball to me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. What is this game? This time, you won't get away from me. I thought it was about high school drama and stuff. Smile. Me too. Nobody's friend. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. I know so. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit? Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. I know, that's why I didn't play it. I'm like, I uh, don't want to deal with that. Exclusive. I don't know if I would touch that. On deck. Welcome to Crackdown. Crackdown. The only game built like me. This game was delayed again, I think. Beautiful. Like a skyscraper. Falling at your face. If you want to play on my level, follow my lead. Somebody give me my jam. It's all about getting the jump on the enemy. No building is too high. I've never played these games. You gotta build up that raw power. Mass Effect with Terry oh, Crews? That would be great. It just looks like Ragdoll the game. Just play with the bodies. Then I roll out like a boss. I can push off fools and the Tron bike out of a building or even bust out my very own tank. Oh, yeah. Boom, shaka -laka. Man, these bad guys just I didn't know Crackdown. I would have gotten this mixed up like it's Tron. And mad a master plan. Here we go. The hits just keep on coming. <laughs> I've actually shown a pretty solid lineup, dude. Dude, I I said it. Near Automata. I would buy this game many times if I could. Nah, Crackdown doesn't look great. Oh my god, this song is so hype. Every song is hype. I got chills. 
It's actually pretty soon. Uh, a new From Software game. Ori in the Blind Forest 2. And the skies rained missiles. A new trailer and the for Fallout 76. To ash. And the seas boiled and people turned uh, a new Life is shadows. Strange game. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. This Metro? Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, oh yeah, a new Halo game has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies by conviction this is or Metro, out of fear. isn't it? Metro we Exodus. Will not falter. Yeah, it has to be Metro. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom. Artyom? But he. What? I want to play this, but the games are great. They are atmospheric. Okay, customization. Are they still going to have the whole gas mask radiation thing? I like that actually. They want blood, they will get it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. The mutated animals are what just are so crazy. Yeah, this trailer is good. It's actually showing gameplay. Oh my god, I hated that gun. Had that clip on the side of the gun. It was awful. I want to play this game. I thought this game was next year? Yeah, next year. I can't wait. They showed a bunch of games so far. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery of the ruins above ground. What I love about our art form is the vast range of These guys look so much expression. more comfortable. These are like From movie grim seats. post-apocalyptic battles to hand-painted spirit guardians. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, whatever sound effects they oh, use, it's a we will that work them. with creators to Choose guarantee Metro. that their games look and play best on Xbox One. Like this next game, generations have loved role-playing games from Inventive Studios in Japan. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, huh? Oh god, I hate this series. <laughs> I can't stand this series. Uh. It's cold! Guess he's too used to the beach. Hey, I love Islander. Disney movies. I, I love say? Final Fantasy. I don't like these Look, games. Even the seas turning to ice. Wow. This is the weebiest of weeb games. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? Nope, never met him. Don't know anyone. Isn't Days Gone that zombie game? That Sony game? What did he do to Sora's voice? It sounds way different. Give me strength. Why isn't Donald sound any different, huh? Look out! 
That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. I gotta say, this the graphics look amazing. I don't it looks like I'm watching anyone. a Pixar movie. Herc! Holy shit. Uh, These graphics, though. Look out! Things they don't really mean, really mean. Oh, I don't know who that movie. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. The other Twilight Town is just data. So oh what will God. us accept? That looks so good. Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. I can't stand the voice acting, though. Dude, they should be. It's owned by Disney. This Keyblade. Is that? Mickey. I actually... You're too late. ...know her. Like Aqua, someone in her name? I don't remember that. It's been so long since I played that game. Exclusive. Yeah, it's always had that cheesiness. It's like unlock your heart and all that. It's like, <laughs> my god. Yeah, I called it. Sea of Thieves stuff. You needn't cower in the doorway. I actually like meeting new people. Uh, besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think you just need a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. The waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores. A place of darkness, where fire and ash consume all. And from the depths, skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient evil set loose upon the Sea of Thieves. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. I have. I mean, I never played it, so. Hope that includes the. Some, I don't know, improvements to it. Battlefield? This is Battlefield, isn't it? Boring stream game? I don't know about that. I had a decent time watching people play it. For like... One day and that was it. I do it depends on the streamer themselves, I think. That it? Exclusive. That was it. World premiere. Yeah, we got Battlefield. Moving on. Yep, Forza. That was obvious. Ooh. 
That was the shortest review I think I've seen. Just battle, but hey, coming on Xbox. We get uh, moving on to the next game. I don't know. They've been avoiding talking about Battlefield Five so far, which is weird. That's not a good idea, in my opinion. This is definitely Horizon. Horizon 4. Forza Horizon's actually decently fun if you don't like just driving on circuits. If you like more off-road stuff. I actually like Horizon over the main Forza games. <laughs> you can test anything with the game press at this point, can you? Tan, Please yeah. welcome from Playground Games, Ralph Fulton. You're gonna show up some super fancy car, like they always do. Thank you so much. It is fantastic to be here today. I am this is what they took time away from to Battlefield show you the 5 world for. premiere of Forza Horizon 4, set in beautiful, historic Britain. Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world, and seasons change everything. Let me introduce you to some of our team who will be helping demo the game today. Please welcome Bill, who is online with a few friends in the beautiful English countryside. He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. And say hi to Solomon who is hanging out with these buddies on the street. Hey guys, for those of you who love cars, capital, what do you think of this? So Solomon is driving the Hoonigan Ford Focus. For these sick cars. And please welcome Andy, whose off-road buggy is perfect for taking jumps, scaling rocky terrain, and having fun on the coastline of Britain. But first, let's join Rebecca. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized Nissan Silvia. The sun is out, the sky is blue, and it's the perfect day for a drive. Forza Horizon 4's Britain is a shared open world. When you play, oh, that you sounds play like an with awful the idea. Community. And that means the other you drivers who meet the, people? the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. I need to see if you crash it to people. Let's join Bill. He's in the same shared world as Rebecca, driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. Ooh, Meanwhile, 60 Andy FPS. Is bouncing Whoa. around the dunes nearby. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. Seasons, guys. In Horizon Gameplay 4, feature. Every season Innovative. Changes the New. World around you, Game breaking. With each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. Leaves One of the falling. Great things about this shared world is that it's easy Snow to falling. interact with the people you meet. Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. 
seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized for every player. They finally have so destructible the environments in these games. The same time. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. <laughs> that, guys? The entire they got a new world truck, changes man. beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The Seamless trees is nice. entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice covered the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more different. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Sportsathon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. They got a new Casey? To the event, I'd like Is that what they say? How the world of Forza Horizon got a new Casey, guys. In spring. Once again, the world changes completely with the seasons, bringing new driving experiences, new gameplay, and new events across the whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy them with you. This is a very unrealistic representation of the community. Everyone's driving, not crashing to Today, each other. you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world. Everyone's just driving side by side. Change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on nice. the same day. Nice. Thank you so much. Please welcome back. A Game Pass Spencer. is a good deal. Oh, Anthem? Nice. We know that exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously to make Xbox One the best place for you to play and for you to have the best games on the world's most powerful console. This is why we're increasing our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers, master storytellers, exceptional world builders. And now, I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. The Initiative. Led by Daryl Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experiences. And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. I don't, what do they make? This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival Oh, franchise. is it State of Decay? They just released decay, their devs? second infestation into the world. And in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation, celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that later. 
and for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft Studio. Really, Ninja Theory? Really? I met Nina and Tamim when we collaborated on Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. And a minute into playing Hellblade, I still need to play Hellblade. The hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. A game that like, is this supposed to be celebrated? I don't know. It's just them acquiring different companies. We Happy Few is, released, is, is nearing its full release oh. to gamers everywhere. So please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. By joining us at Microsoft Studios, these five new teams will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. God, this game Isn't feels like it's been in we all made? development for so long. But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to no, tell that's not people creepy at all. They need to know the truth. No, it's better not to know. Wakey, wakey, everybody. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Well. Do what you should be doing, and you never have to worry. Sally. The oh, self help group. We're the only two people in this entire sure. city not stoned out of our this mess. It's Play the demo with us. Lovely day for it. It's a f***ing terrible day for it. If you force people to have the emotions you want, and you've turned them into robots made out of meat, where is it? I have no idea what kind of game this is. You've gone too far this time. Survival? People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Oh, it's coming out this year, huh? August 10th. Exclusive. Oh boy, PUBG. I'll be right back.
World Premiere. premiere. Washington, D.C., the most heavily protected city on Earth. Within its limits, 177 foreign embassies, 550 elected officials, and 23,000 military personnel. In the event of an attack, critical personnel are evacuated. Underground shelters open, while complex defense systems patrol the sky. But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street, then shootings in the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles, in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. Now, in the heat of summer, six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt state lurks in the shadows, ready to engage in a new civil war. Agents of the Division are the only ones standing against it. But how do you save a nation when its enemies come from within? What did I miss? Matt, that crash site is just ahead. What was after the PUBG stuff? Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. What is this? this time. Oh, this is division? Having these forced voice chat communication things. So you guys are coming or what? Trash. Yeah. Tales of Vesperia? Oh, Merry it's Christmas. a JRPG, I think. Played some Tales games. Ah, oh, here's the door.
Uh, I didn't like Division that much. <laughs> it got a little, it got better later on, but it's just... Yep. Okay, sure. Eh. mission on the map yeah we're not that far okay do it after the crash site sounds good they're just ahead of us Matt okay, imagine a lot you. of people I'll are going to be very skeptical about okay, this game just because of all the promises they didn't have they didn't busy. make toxic chemical residue detected a lot of loot down there Hey, you guys should really check this out. Almost there. So that's the control point. I can't stand this cringy chat. Hey, wait for me. Oh crap, they have a tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow. Let me adjust my build. Matt, can you flank them and get a clear shot? I'll take that sniper on top. Wait for it. Got her. Matt, look out. All right, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade. Duke, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Over here. You know, Ubisoft didn't disappoint me with the forced voice chat. It doesn't sound real at all. Seeker mine out. Whoa! Oh, I'm stuck. Do you use a little help? I don't know. It looks more like the same game. Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. What was that shot? Got him. I'm down. Yeah, they hang on, I'll get you. Down. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Get that weak point. Ah, it's been light on the cringe. Oh, crap. Matt, watch out. Setting my drone. Thank you for the revive, Meg. I've got this guy behind the tank. Map of the hive, nice. Alright, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. Oh, there goes his armor. Ah. Why would you walk up right You're up to own. the armor, dude? Keep going. That Good is this. Nobody okay. says that. I leveled up, bro. Point is ours. Nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? Let's go. My God. Analyzing ballistic residue. Looks no like a found. rough landing. Jesus! Whoa, that's nuts. Let's check it out. Great idea. Let's just die. So, game plan. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. No. No. No, just no. Please welcome. The head of engineering, Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. Can't say I'm excited for that at all. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible games to play. 
storied franchises, this is what you, we want to do. All that cringe and cult classics, genres we love and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often, we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass, a way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown Their us away. Their lineup is weak. Not only are you Out of everyone, there is the weakest for sure. You're spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready-to-start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers Why are you explaining this? Games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start this will is launch not for select titles in the June update coming later this month. Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection coming yeah. later this year. I wanna, play, I wanna play that BZ, man. We also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. Oh, I'm totally happy to get the nitty the nitty-gritty of the Game Pass. Totally happy. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point, all available in Xbox Game Pass the same day as their global release. I only know one of those games. Vermintide 2, that's it. A Left 4 Dead so kind of game. Next, but let's talk about what's happening today. Division. Tom Clancy's The Division. Elder Scrolls Online. Fallout 4. The Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. And Fallout 4. I would probably be the most interested in trying all at Elder Scrolls Online. Xbox One X in gorgeous 4K. And all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Thank you to all of the developers working with us to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. Oh, is that it? Uh, that was a loose finish, to be honest. That was... It wasn't great. I was expecting to have more of their own console exclusives, but they showed a lot of multi-platform games. Like Fallout, Division, all those things, it's just like... Near, Battlefield. Probably the Life is Strange. I think the only console exclusive is like 
crack down three. Uh, that Halo game. Dude, this has to be it. This is the outro. Unless this is just showing a bunch of indie games. I knew why I came here. Okay, so it's not it. I saw okay. It, the end. I was wondering if they would show the new so Tomb vivid. Raider. But now the truth feels further away than ever. I still have so many questions. I actually want to play this. I really like the first two for the reboot. Oh my god, she had her classic outfit. That's close. I guess that was just a trailer for like Game Pass. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it. I really enjoy these all. games. What have I done? They're fun games. I don't play horror games. I'm not interested. Except for Resident Evil, that's it. Consider that horror. I know that it's not practical. I lost count how many she kills in this series. Hard to believe. She's a <laughs> I want them to have more tombs. Like the second game had more tombs, but it was, I felt like it wasn't enough. Hope oh, this isn't just focused on action. You need to trust me. We have to trust each other. I'd love for them to bring back the endurance mode too. That was a lot of fun like their own take on survival mode. He wants to alter the course of humanity. If you had that power, what would you do? That's coming out next year. Oh, it's this year. Oh, that's right. Exclusive. Their own take on survival mode. Their own take on survival mode. He wants to alter the course of humanity. If you had that power, what would you do? that's coming out next year? Oh, it's this year. Oh, that's right. Exclusive. Okay, I thought the conference was over. Thank God. Tony Hawk. Where's the skate? Never played skate. Funny hawk. I never played skate. What a loser.
Only a month by. Must buys for me are the Tomb Raider, Ori, Metro. Session? Then what? Exclusive. Session? They say you only live once. Black I Desert Online. I was which I've been playing. Times, and I've met death three times. I actually think this game is My pretty fun. I feel like doing the, the other stuff outside of combat. My first life. I awoke again in Tarif, the village of the sword. It's the life skill simulator. I once thought that this would be my true home. It's a decently fun MMO, actually. To ask the forbidden question. What exactly is the true nature I've been playing it for like desert. three months now. What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was called? Uh, you pay ten dollars. And then there's no fee after that. There's microtransactions, though. But it's the cosmetic never stuff. Paid heed to such questions. They just fought on. It is a Korean MMO, so it's oh, grindy. Thick MMOs are grindy, As Korean MMOs are really grindy. The combat's actually pretty fun. Like, stringing attacks together and everything. The effects look great. The mage classes, the spell animations and effects look amazing. Behold, I am Elezra, the dark. I have no idea what the story is though. Yeah, Korea World definitely is more crazy about MMOs than anyone. Same with strategy games, like StarCraft. We've known each other a long time. What is that? Aliens? Devil May Cry 5, though. It was great. You're up, crew cut. You taking that? Is this another reboot? Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. <laughs> Getting right to the point, huh? My brilliant badass work is worth every dime, you know it. Cash first. Oh yeah, codes are three, that'll never happen. What? That's not even the same Dante. Wait. That Dante? Please welcome from Capcom, producer Matt I'm Walker so confused. and director Hideaki Itsuno. Are they combining both Dantes? As director, I've waited four years for this. Thank you so much. DMC is back. English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. <laughs> of course. 
It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back. Early on in the development of Devil May Cry 5, we set our sights on creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that, that we can trend, still yeah. deliver that amazing they do have their classic that Devil May Cry is known for. But they have the new and one, too. Think that we've made something that feels better than any oh, action cool. game we've ever created. I'll play that. Hold on, hold on. すべてのファンの皆様のために一番の自信作ができました。期待してもらって大丈夫です。よろしくお願いします。Itsuto-san says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. The series is over the top ridiculous. You don't. Have a great you can't take it seriously. It's just a fun game. Exclusive. I think you would like it. Yep, head. You'll see stuff. Exclusive. X. The Firefox mascot. Fox Link. This art style reminds me of... Um, there was a PS3 game that was like that, like very, like, squares and everything like that. I kind of like the art style though. Tonic. That tiny fox in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay zombies, gaming is an incredible community. We've always believed that building community is vital for gaming. There's real power in our shared experience, sharing the same world, the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, Everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. 
starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. Oh? On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. World premiere. Dead or Alive, Beach Volleyball. There are worlds that exist, separate from our own. That was close. Where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. Now they have begun to merge as one. And oh God, Naruto! Are the heroes we could only imagine? Oh United God, this is the weed game. For our survival. Dragon Ball. Ugh. Who wins? This is not even a contest. Oh, this is a fighting game, isn't it? This is the weed. The weed, the fighting game. Jump Force. Jump Shonen, really? Oh, don't bring Death Note into this. Unite to fight. I would even fight. We just write their names and they mm. die. <laughs> That's the game over. Done. World premiere. It's been 15 years since the fall. The city is a corpse, and we are the worms. We burrow in it. I might have to check it out. It has Death Note in it. Fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. There's like a lot more than 15 games they're announcing. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. Dying Light. This is Dying Light. Dying Light sequel. Sean, where are you? We need to play this. And these choices we take to survive will create the world to come. Totally dying light. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night and good luck. Please welcome narrative designer. Chris Avalon. Hit and run too, yeah. Simpsons look a little different. That is a little so different from the first game. Hi, I'm Chris Avalon, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel of the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths Dude, of the It wasn't. <laughs> the combat was easy. After. Just throw them into a the wall, time, stomp we their heads. To a new vision of the post-apocalypse, a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern dark ages. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2 a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices Jesus. 
have genuine consequences in the game itself. From how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur, everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. You going to insult this with another final offer? You know, this is... All I could believe. This is all gameplay. Because I've done all this in the first game. Like the animations and everything. That's a cool thing. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to Dude, the, the water got me in the fields. peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even no, they didn't mention the, the, level, the setting for and this. raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. I think it's uh, Yvonne Stravowski, something like that. So while the streets may be safer, it's oh, that's all safe. You're in for a treat. With them. So if you Spoilers. Their bad side, You're in for a treat. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. They've got a Deus As you Ex will see, system. This a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. You choose my crush when I was watching Chuck. And this is just he was a, a star in that decision. show. One out of hundreds you will you look have to great. Make, there were so many gratuitous shots of her. Out your own world. Unashamed. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Zombies? Exclusive. World premiere. Super punk. No. A lot of time has passed. He's looking for that. You've gotten soft, complacent. You always knew this day would come. You always knew the three of you would be needed again. You always. Wait. What? I don't even. Battle Toads. That's such an old game. A brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hands on 2.5D graphics, three player couch co -op. and broad non specific feature declarations. They're back. Okay. I probably won't play that. <laughs> World premiere. I was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear, no failure. Just cause four. Have changed. This is just cause four. Changed. No one was ready for it. Sentinel's okay. I played Infiltrator they and they work well. They are the world's most powerful. Vanguard's fun. Army. But even they should fear what they've created. Adept and Infiltrator are good on the hardest difficulty, which I played both of those classes. 
I like Just Cause 2. Just Cause 3 was not my thing. Also, it ran like crap on my computer. It was not optimized well. It's a good game just to mess around and. Won't be getting shot at? All the time. Cause he got that grappling hook and he got a parachute. And he could jump on cars. That's nuts. We got tornadoes in this. Oh my god. I really enjoy Just Cause 2. It was repetitive, World but premiere. it's fun. Gears of War 5. Bros of War. This is such a weird way to do gears. Is this the game Funko thinks? Oh, yeah. Everyone got excited. <laughs> a gears game. That's what you get. From the coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Wow, what a. <laughs> wow, did what a just ago, nope. When I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And as it's grown, we've dreamed of taking it to new places and different ways to reach even more fans. And that's why today we're announcing Gears Pop, a collaboration with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. And mobile is not the only such a new tease. place we're going. I'm excited to also announce the true Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre, Gears Tactics. You create a whole new squad 12 years before Gears of War 1 as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying Tactics whole game. cities. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre with a character-driven story, faster, more aggressive gameplay, a customizable squad and equipment, and of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. The tactics turn burst game. We look forward to sharing more about tactics with you soon. That's the most but it's not just black luster name I could think of it's for a game. It's also about having new tactics. And the amazing team at the Coalition is working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. I stopped playing after Gears 3. As Kate, I'd be into as a Lego Kate, game. journey across the biggest and most beautiful world we've ever created, with the war for humanity escalates on two fronts, outside the capital city and within Kate herself. In this moment from the game, Kate leads a rescue message to a remote village, but something goes horribly wrong. I never played 4. I heard it was okay, actually. Kate. Kate. No, 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 Kate, Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. I'm sorry. I thought everyone in this game is just beefy. The beefcake. Like, they're just all on roids. Kate? Uh, they're... Okay. I'm sorry. Phoenix? It's not Marcus Phoenix. Thanks. For coming here. Of course. 
Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. That booty, though. But I think they were messages. What? So it'll be on Game Pass? Something's nice, you can let me know how me. it is. There's Marcus Phoenix. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No! No! <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Nuafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain. Screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. A necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Yeah, it's Laura Bailey. I recognized it once she started shouting. We went back to being Laura Bailey. Where are we going? Back to where it all began. Who's in the shadow? This is like Jennifer Hale. I instantly Who's recognize her as Femme Chef. I don't think I can recognize Laura Bailey yet. What's she known for? Not fighting locusts anymore. I have no idea what enemy they're facing anymore. Hey, hey, what are you? Why did you come here with me? What did JD tell you? This is why. Cool for the Gears fans. In the entire history of Xbox, in the entire history of E3, in the entire history of our industry, Sad man, they're gaming all is now at its most vibrant. Today, we shared our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcased more games than we ever have before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Today, we shared our most diverse gaming portfolio in every measure from breadth and art style, genre and cultures, range and subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. <laughs> the world of gaming is on an historic growth path where the increasing number of gamers is met with the increasing creative power of game developers. In this significant moment, we are constantly challenging ourselves. Where can we take gaming next? Our answer? We commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft to deliver on the future of play. Our experts 
and Microsoft Research are developing the future of gaming AI. So the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich and more immersive. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. Not only that, we are dedicated to perfecting your experience everywhere you want to play, on your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team, the same team that delivered unprecedented performance with Xbox One X, is deep into architecting the next Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. And let's talk about our games themselves. We are committed to building an industry-leading first-party studios organization. And as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single-year investments in teams by adding five new creative studios. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today, and next year, and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. So choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become, together. Thanks, and have a great evening. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. I've been waiting for this. That was cool. Oh my god, I'm getting chills. Yes. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Dude, that's a cool jacket. Except for the collar, that looks weird. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be alive, oh my god, I love this thing. Illusion. But it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. AKA Witcher 3. This is like music for me. Dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. That car. God, they come so far since Witcher One. Oh, I wish there was gameplay though. Oh my god. I was already hyped for that game. You think you wanna play now? 
Dude, if we hear Retrowave in that game, it's over. I will be... I will be able to contain myself. I will lose it. Game's supposed to come out next year, right? Cyberpunk? Early next year? Next step in evolution, for sure. Oh, that was that was a nice closer.